In this video, I am going to show you how to create this uh, beautiful animation uh, prototype in Figma and uh, export that uh, same animation in Android Studio. Alright, so the first uh, step is to actually create uh, a uh, animation uh, prototype in Figma. So this animation will actually consist of uh, multiple different frames, which uh, we are going to turn into a uh, prototype. So let's start by adding here the first frame. So let's press A on our keyboard create here the frame with a size of um, uh, 1080 in a both uh, width and height, right? So that's going to be our first frame. So uh, I'm going to now create uh, one rectangle that we're going to multiply later in order to create uh, a shape uh, of uh, a circle. So let's press R on our keyboard to select the rectangle or tool. And let's create here one rectangle with a size of a 40 in a both uh, width and height. Uh, we can change its uh, color to uh, black. There you go. All right, all right. Um, the next uh, thing here, I'm going to now uh, multiply this uh, rectangle down below one more time. So just hold down uh, Alt and uh, Shift and uh, drag this uh, down below. I'm going to make here a uh, space between uh, those uh, two rectangular uh, shapes to be uh, five uh, or uh, five hundred and twenty. So we can press a shortcut uh, Shift plus uh, down arrow to actually move uh, this uh, rectangular shape. Uh, for 10 pixels uh, each and every time. Okay, now we can select both of those uh, shapes and we can uh, center them on this uh, canvas. We can also now press um, Control uh, or sorry, Alt plus Shift and drag that right here as well. We can now rotate that uh, horizontally and we can also specify them and move them on the center like that. Now we also need to add um, uh, four more uh, rectangular shapes with a different um, rotational angle. So for that purpose, I'm going to just here first uh, create uh, one more uh, rectangle in the center. And I'm going to use this rectangle as a reference point so that we can actually create uh, those other different uh, rectangles. So let's make here a minus 45 degree rotational angle. Right, so here I'm going to now actually increase uh, this um, to let's say maybe 280. Now I'm going to duplicate this uh, rectangular shape one more time, so just hold down the Alt. Let's uh, rotate this um, uh, by holding down the shift so we can target uh, minus 45 degree. And now let's place this uh, right there. Okay, perfect. Uh, now I'm going to select uh, uh, this one right here. And now here let's select this rectangular shape, press um, shift plus H to um, swap its actual position vertically or sorry, horizontally. And now I'm going to select this one and copy that one more time right here. There you go. And we are going to do the same thing uh, down below for uh, two more rectangular shapes. So here I'm going to just um, uh, move that right here. There you go. Let's just duplicate this one down below. Right here. Uh, press uh, Shift plus uh, H. Move that right here on the center. And move this one right here. Okay. There we go. So now we can actually remove this... Uh, uh, rectangular shape from here because now we have succeeded to actually um, perfectly align all those uh, little rectangular uh, shapes in this uh, circle shape. Okay, so there are many different ways to actually uh, do this, but anyhow, this was uh, my first um, uh, assumption on how I can actually create this uh, shape uh, with uh, those rectangular uh, boxes. So only for those uh, different uh, rectangular shapes will have a minus 45 degree rotational angle. So now that we actually have our first frame, let's uh, duplicate this frame. So just press uh, Ctrl D. There we go. So frame number two. And within this frame number two, I'm going to move this uh, first um, rectangular shape uh, down below the center. I want to change its uh, color. So that will be the first uh, animation, right? So we can change this uh, color to uh, this uh, blue one. Uh, the next thing we can create here uh, and duplicate this frame to the third frame. So Control plus uh, D. Let's now uh, change the rotational angle of this uh, of this one right here to be minus 45. And I'm going to also uh, move this one right here. Change its uh, color to uh, to blue. There you go. Now let's uh, duplicate this one more time. So Control plus uh, D. Uh, this one will also uh, rotate those uh, two ones, so just uh, rotate both of them. Place them here in the center. 
and now I'm going to uh, actually move this one right here as well change its uh, color now let's create here the fifth frame so Control plus uh, D let's also select those uh, three rectangular shapes let's first actually uh, rotate this first one to uh, minus 135 and now let's also here just uh, rotate both of those uh, right there we can also move this one right here specify its uh, color there you go duplicate this uh, fifth frame so control plus uh, D now let's uh, rotate this first one down below there you go to 180 let's select those uh, three ones uh, rotate them here as well place them right here move this one right here select the same color duplicate this frame once again Control D uh, rotate this one uh, to uh, 135 degree select all those uh, four by holding down the shift uh, give them a rotational angle uh, which is the same as this one place this one right here select its actual color to be the same blue duplicate this frame once again Control plus uh, D let's now uh, first uh, rotate this one right there select all those other different ones by holding down the shift make a rotational difference place them right there move this one right here change its uh, color let's duplicate this one once again uh, let's change this rotational angle right here to 45 degree select all those other ones make a rotational change place them right here okay and now we can change the color of this one to uh, blue as well and as you can see uh, now in this frame right here I'm going to actually create a new frame so this frame will actually um, let me just here rotate this one uh, to its original position so zero select all those other ones place them uh, in that same position and the last frame here uh, will be and the same as the first one okay so just I uh, copy this one by holding down alt and shift there you go so frame 11 uh, will be the same as uh, the first frame and in total we're going to have uh, 11 different uh, frames and now it's time to actually uh, make a uh, prototype out of this animation so go to the prototype section let's choose this uh, first frame connect the first with the second one uh, click here and select the smart animate uh, animation uh, is in and out the um, duration here will be 500 milliseconds and we can also click here this uh, reset scroll position uh, next let's connect this uh, uh, second one with the third one do the same thing so smart animate the same animation there you go select this one and connect with the fourth one the same animation fourth one with the fifth one the same animation fifth one with the sixth one the same animation sixth one with the seventh one there we go seventh one with the eighth one there we go eight with a nine there we go nine with a ten and the ten with the eleven as well there you go so now what we can do here we can play this animation and see how this uh, prototype will actually work so let's select this uh, play button right here our animation here is now loading so uh, let's see how will that look like uh, okay so here I have forgot to specify uh, one more thing so whenever you uh, specify that animation we also need to specify here a trigger uh, which will be uh, in this case uh, after delay of uh, one milliseconds so I'm going to just replace all those uh, animations with this after delay trigger of uh, one milliseconds all right so there we go now I have specified here this uh, trigger to be uh, after delay of uh, one milliseconds so basically uh, after a delay of uh, one milliseconds or uh, basically instantly uh, we are going to uh, navigate from uh, each one of those uh, frames to the next one so now let's run this prototype and this is how it will actually look like okay so we can also reset this animation to see uh, how will that look like so as you can see this beautiful clock animation will also reset itself after we um, uh, complete this animation there we go so it does look uh, quite nice and now it's time to actually export this animation as a loading animation and implement that in Android Studio
Alright, so now that we have uh, created this uh, animation uh, prototype, uh, now we need to actually convert this uh, animation into a uh, Loti animation. So uh, now what we are going to do here, I'm going to select uh, all those frames, and then I'm going to go to the plugin section and search for uh, an INX uh, plugin. From here, I'm going to export this uh, prototype. Let's just uh, wait until this uh, plugin uh, actually loads itself, and uh, after that, we're going to create a Loti animation uh, with this. So just press export. Okay, so now from here we can also play this animation to see if uh, that animation is the same as the one we have just created. So if uh, it doesn't look the same, then what we can do here, we can just uh, go to the uh, editor. So just press open in editor button so that we can actually see um, uh, what steps here are actually uh, not correct. So let's just uh, inspect our animation. Okay, so I think that uh, this layer right here, so rectangle number four, we need to uh, actually remove this uh, scale animation from this uh, layer. So as you can see from two seconds to uh, uh, two four, uh, 2.5, we need to remove this uh, scale actually, and here as well. So just remove this uh, scale uh, because we don't need that uh, scale animation, okay. So now let's just uh, test it out. Uh, also, this um, rectangle 4 has a rotation which is happening. Uh, let's just uh, specify here the center actually. So we can see whether now that will work. Okay, so it will not work. Uh, let's just here now see uh, how we can actually fix this uh, animation. So we are rotating in the wrong direction, I think. So we are changing this rotational angle uh, from 45 degree to a uh, 36 and instead if you can see here from our animation let me just uh, open that up switch to design uh, project so let's just uh, see uh, what the rectangle 4 is actually doing here so we have a 90 degree then we have a um, uh, 45 degree and then we have a, a zero degree okay so not 36 or 360 but a zero instead so here now what I'm going to do here I'm going to search for a rotational angles, so from uh, 45 degree to a zero and not uh, 360. So just uh, say here zero and press enter. So uh, so specify here uh, zero um, comma zero, okay. And now, as you can see, this uh, rectangle should animate uh, just fine. We need to also um, modify that rotational angle from here from uh, three seconds, I think, or no from 2.5 to 3. So right there, okay? So here in this case, uh, we have a uh, 315, I think, so yeah. And in our design, right here, let's see uh, what angle do we have. So uh, rectangle 4, we have minus 45. So let's just select now this uh, rectangle 4 on a 3 seconds, or you can just specify here minus 45, now, uh, as you can see here, what we also have, so whenever we are moving this uh, rectangle 4, uh, it's actually not animating the way we want. So, as you can see what we can do, we can select that rectangle 4, and we can uh, choose and actually see here uh, what kind of uh, uh, rotational uh, curves we are using. So, for example, with all other different curves, uh, let's see what we have. So, with uh, all other different curves, for example, this one, when rotating, we are using a is in and out. So we need to select now our rectangle 4, select uh, all those uh, rotation uh, animations from our rectangle 4, and for that one, uh, we need to select here actually is in and out. So here, okay, so here we need to choose uh, is in and out. Uh, here is in and out. Here, uh, okay, so here it already does uh, look fine. There you go. And now, Whenever we try to rotate this uh, rectangle 4, now everything uh, should uh, look just fine. Uh, the next thing, we also have a problem with our uh, rectangle 3 this time. So let's just uh, remove this uh, scale from uh, this uh, uh, rectangle 3, right? So, as you can see. And now we also need to um, switch this uh, rectangle or, or a rotational angle. So it starts from uh, 4 seconds. 
so 4 seconds is um, 45 degree and uh, 4.5 we have a 360 so let's just uh, select our rectangle number 3 in our design so right here uh, rectangle 3 it has a 0 uh, degree and not 360 that's why we need to choose here a um, rectangle 3 and choose a 0 instead okay we can also change this uh, curve to is in and out and now let's see how will that look like okay so now it does look uh, even better all right so we can now play this animation from the start and now it will look like uh, the same as uh, in our design what we can do now we can just uh, go here export and export our animation as a loti animation click export there you go we can now just um, open up this uh, and uh, say here a uh, clock for example now copy this uh, file go to the android studio and we are going to paste that uh, inside our row folder okay there we go so it's a simple json file which we're going to link right here so clock uh, before we continue here with uh, our animation, I just want to say that um, sometimes it can actually happen that where, when you're importing your uh, prototype in this um, uh, NINX uh, plugin, that uh, your actual animation here does not look the same as the one uh, you have created in your design. So if that's the case, then you should always uh, open up this editor and just uh, edit this uh, animation a little bit so that it can uh, look like the same as the one that you have created just like uh, we did uh, just now uh, with those uh, rotational angles in this uh, editor and uh, finally let's just uh, run our actual application in android studio so in this case i'm using uh, a uh, remember loti composition to remember that file that we have just uh, specified in our row directory and here we just have a simple loti animation composable function uh, that we are linking to that same uh, uh, resource uh, animation in this case i can specify the size to be 300 dp and we are going to iterate this animation forever in this case so let's just uh, open up that uh, in our android studio okay there we go and this is how now our uh, clock animation uh, looks like so it uh, looks uh, quite nice of course we can increase the size here uh, by ourselves for example this can uh, be used as some kind of a loading animation we can use for example maybe uh, 400 dp for uh, the animation size so it's up to you and there you go so now this is how our animation uh, looks like all right so uh, that will be all for uh, this video so be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this animation that i have just uh, created and uh, also be sure to like this video but only if you find it helpful for this video that will be all Die.